Hi guys. So before I get into the post this week, I want to tell you about the inspiration for it. I'm pretty quirky sometimes and I was sitting down um, thinking, you know what? I should just go ahead and start writing my apology letters to my daughter now for all the ways I'm going to screw her up when she grows up. And then I had a laugh because it's a joke, but it did inspire this post because I thought about it for a minute. I was like, wait a minute. What if I did want to write a letter about Haiti to my daughter for her to read when she's older? What would it be like? Would it have to indeed be an apology letter when I'm like, I'm so sorry, you know, Haiti's so messed up and I didn't do anything. My generation, we didn't do anything to fix it. Or would it be more positive like, oh yeah, it's so great to be Haitian and you're so lucky you're Haitian, etc. Um, I stopped playing the guessing game after a while and I was like, I'm just going to write something from the heart, like something that I could potentially, you know, actually give to my daughter to read when she's older. So I'm going to get a little sentimental on you guys this week. So I might as well go ahead and get out of the way now. Um, my name is Marley. I'm a Haiti Hope Ambassador. And um, this is my letter to my daughter. So I want to uh, for you to bear with me a little bit. I'm reading it on my computer, so hopefully it won't be too weird. But um, there it goes. Letter to my daughter. Mon trésor. When I look at you, nothing in the past matters. I can only see the future. And I want a future stuffed with so much wonderful for you. I want you to have a positive outlook on everything in life with tons of confidence and absolutely no limitations. A huge part of that will come from knowing and loving who you are. I want to do everything in my power for you to grow up with self-esteem. Unlike your smile and your eyes, I'm not perfect. But I'll try my best to help you embrace your heritage, be fully knowledgeable and proud of where you come from. I know from experience that you distance yourself from your roots when they embarrass you. And to no fault of your own, self-doubt and discomfort are planted instead. I would like Haiti to be part of you as much as it is part of me, if not more. But I refuse to subject you to this clash of emotions where you want to love and connect and accept your mother's land, but rightfully spurn all that it is in reality. I will not ask you to be proud of a miserable nation whilst lavishing you in tales of times past. I do not want you subjected to the well-communicated, though sometimes unarticulated, disparaging views of others who may displace their opinions of Haitians being helpless or lazy or tardy, or aggressive or unreliable on your character. Nor will I allow you to confuse the simple fact of admitting you are Haitian or liking some aspects of the Haitian culture for pride. I want you to see the Haiti I've always dreamed of. The one I would want to show off. The one I longed for growing up. The one that is worthy of you. The one that will offer great opportunities to your children. I want to give you clear and obvious reasons to be proud of your people, your country. I want to demonstrate my pride in the things that I do for my country and show you what people that came before you, that cared about you, left for you to build upon. That's the genuine, unequivocal pride, love, and confidence I want you to derive from being Haitian. The kind of pride that comes when you identify yourself as part of something great, something wonderful, like a people of wealth, health, and knowledge, a country producing Nobel Prize winners and innovators of the future, a people beautiful not just because of their strength and resilience, but because of their gumption and thrive. That's why I'm working so hard towards a better Haiti, my love. So you can know and love who you are without reservations or excuses or explanations. So you won't resent others for their advancement. So you will stand amongst the best, not in spite of being Haitian, but especially because you are Haitian amongst a majority of your brothers and sisters that lift you up. The Haiti I've always dreamed of, I only experience in my, in my heart. And I may never... And that may never change for me. But whatever I can do for you to at least catch a glimpse of it, 
and help you be a part of the reason it fully realizes, I will. Love and bless mommy. Mwah.